For all your TCG needs, make sure to check out alphatradingcardgames.com. What's poppin' everybody? Saber will find you four for our third match with Kieran VMAX Frostmoth in the standard format. And I encourage you guys to check out my social links in the description. You don't have to follow me everywhere, but follow me somewhere to keep up with updates. I share all of my videos on Twitter. I upload directly to Facebook. I've got a Facebook page. I upload the videos on Rumble too. And I got an Instagram too, but um, if you just follow me there, it's not really going to have any updates for the channel. Just some different shit. I just have my shorts slash reels on Instagram. And of course, if you're an old school Yu-Gi-Oh fan, I've got the best, most comprehensive old school Yu-Gi-Oh book on the market. Definitely check it out. If you got Kindle, you can actually read it uh, with that as well. If you're paying for uh, Kindle Unlimited anyway. So definitely check that out. Alright, now, gonna open up with Radiant Greninja, got two Snoms, and uh, I guess I'm gonna grab the third one with Level Ball. Now, obviously with the Frost Moth, you don't need to get like three of them out. Uh, two is usually a good number. The second one just to have as backup in case they want to pick on the first one to shut down your Water Energy Acceleration. That's how it's always been, I mean, from the black and white days, you could say, and even if you want to go older than that, get your main energy acceleration Pokemon, have at least two, always the backup. But just to get the unnecessary cards out of my deck, you know, I can afford the space. Might as well just get the other Snom, just get all that shit, evolve into the Frost Mons out of the deck, and just thin out, draw stuff, thin out your deck, basically. What do you want to do? Uh, the more we just draw and thin out our deck, the better this deck becomes. Because it's a powerful deck, you know, getting one AKOs with Cure and VMAX, these sort of tactics have always been powerful. It's just a matter of consistency. And my opponent, all she can do is just pull the Cure and V, try and get me stuck and draw some cards with uh, Lugia there. The Path to the Peak putting in amazing work once again, just like last time. So this is obviously the best answer to stop Lugia, Lugia V-Star. Uh, primarily and it's putting in work I mean if she has like Crobat or Dominion she can't really draw cards with them if Lugia V-Star comes out can't even use that guy's uh, V-Star power so Pat to the Peak if it sticks is amazing and they probably don't even expect it in a deck like Kurum V-Max because people expect Kurum V-Max to use his ability with like a Ranguru all right um, and yeah, it's just really awesome. We get the opportunity to just set up while she can't do much. Um, I drew the Marnie as well, negating her attack of drawn cards. That's probably very annoying for her as well. So yeah, when you lose like this, and when you're in a position like this, it's really, it's really shitty. It happens to me, and it's really shitty. But it's just sad that this is how the game sort of has to be. It's like uh, very, very straightforward decks but in the sense that they can get shut down super easy as well um, I can't really think of any better way to articulate it like this Lugia is broken and super fast but if you can't really use Lugia V start and get the Archeopsis then you're sort of stuck I guess you could say this with other ability decks it's always been the case but I mean you can do other stuff in other decks that would rely on abilities but then not rely completely on them. I don't know if that makes sense if I'm articulating well. Probably not, but I think you guys might understand what I mean. Anyway, so Lugia once again, gonna discard and draw cards, but I've got the other Marnie in hand. Once again, gonna negate your play and get the Curum VMAX as well. Beautiful. I used the attack on the Kurum V on the previous turn to get the energies on the active Pokemon. And it worked out. Could have been risky, but I thought there's no way he's going to be able to kill. Evolve into the V-Star, get the Arc Gipses, and then kill the Kurum as well. And I was correct. Thank God. Because it was a risky play. But now we can reap the reward. I've got energies on the active Kurum VMAX. I'll be able to get, get this big one-hit KO. Won't even have to discard much 
since he didn't evolve into the V star and he loses energies too he's gonna to lose one of the powerful colorless energies which are very dangerous they make Lugia a very dangerous attacker like it's crazy that you gotta try and get so many darkness energies with Darkrai V star to do like 300 damage serious damage for one AKOs and then with Lugia you just get a few of those powerful colorless energy with Archeops piece of cake and then all of a sudden you're in that 300 range super easy okay so one of the Lugias is out she only has one Pokemon left another Lugia she has to get more Pokemon down or this is gonna be a super quick easy match easy victory for me uh, our setup is excellent I've got three frost moths I mean in the end I got all three of them so when it comes to energy acceleration we're good in that regard don't gotta worry about them and I got Greninja I can't really utilize but I think eventually she is gonna get rid of my stadium and there it is Pumpkaboo she just searched it with Ultra Ball I think uh, I probably missed it but yeah search that guy with Ultra Ball so now Luminion V gonna let you draw cards get supporters and what she's gonna do I guess let's see what she gets with this big oak uh, evolution and sense so finally gonna get the Lugia Vista out she grabbed the Archeops but um, I guess she needs to discard those dudes as well so quick ball get rid of that and uh, what are you going to grab um, is this gonna be like a Lugia V-Star deck with other attackers or just Lugia V-Star alone? We'll see. Thinking hard on that quick ball grab. What you got? I mean what I got is I got all of the good shit that we need. I uh, got energy retrieval, got oak. The only problem is I gotta get another Curum V out because we only have one uh, gotta have the other one ready too but here's the problem I've got oak in hand and all the other valuable shit that we got so I can't really utilize oak I really hope we get something good next turn but I can also start using Greninja now too so Lugia V-Star is out in the end she got let Uranguru with the quick ball but uh, hasn't even played them uh, a bit strange but anyway and she's putting energies on the Luminian. Wow. Why are you putting energies on the Luminian? I guess she's going to attack with it. So, I don't think that was a very good play. I think I know what she's trying to do. She's going to attack with the Luminian. It's going to go back in the deck, so she keeps the energies. And probably going to promote like a Pumpkaboo for a decoy uh, I okay it's not a horrible play but you discard energies on the Lugia I mean either way you're still gonna have to commit the Lugia to get the KO I mean I'm gonna get another one out anyway so well I would have if I had a better hand I don't, I can't oak this hand. I just can't. So I think the only thing we can do now is make use of the Greninja. I'm going to put the energies on it. And uh, there's not really any great things I can target. Uh, I guess I could kill the Pumpkaboo and get a prize. But that's what she wants. And I'm going to leave that guy stuck there. Um, so she has to find a way to switch. Because... It's not, yeah, Pumpkaboo isn't really going to do shit. I'm just, it's just better for me to leave it stuck and force her to have a switch or burn energies to discard. I'm going to target the uh, Archeops. is out, yeah. So the point of this play is it seems kind of shit, but the reality is now she's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. If she would use like a boss's orders to kill the Kurum, then it means Greninja survives. And then I'm just going to attack with Greninja again, kill the Archeopsis, and then there goes your energy acceleration. Okay? It might be a bit too slow, but 
it's going to get me prizes and it cuts off her energy acceleration 100%. There's no way she's getting those guys back when they're out. Uh, if she doesn't and then kills the Greninja, then that's fine. Uh, Kurim is going to come and then kill the Lugia as I was going to do from the beginning. So it's okay. Um, I really do wish I had another Kurum to set up to evolve into the VMAX. Um, hopefully we draw something good finally next turn, or from the prizes at least. But she gets a bunch of energies on the Lugia. In the end, she has to use it to attack. I guess she could have used a one of the Archipses to attack the Greninja, but hmm, maybe that would have been good. Maybe that would have been too bad uh, because yeah you you keep the Lugia that way you've got the other Archips for a little bit of energy acceleration you get your mantle attachments too you can't forget about that so I think it would have been fine but anyway in the end maybe she couldn't pull anywhere she gets the kill on the Greninja and now I am gonna have to use the Oak because um, I'm just gonna have to get another attacker and Maybe if we see the Ordinary Rod or Nessa, I can get the Curum VMAXs back. But the point is, I gotta get more aggressive. I gotta draw stuff. I gotta be ready. So, Max Frost. Perfect job. Just gonna discard uh, all the energies and get the 1 KO. I debated a little bit if I wanted to use like Curum's ability, but no point. I've, I've got what I need. Got triple Irida, goddamn. All of the versions. Get the boss's orders, that can be useful, and I get all of the Kerms now. What the hell? But anyway, uh, she has no attacker. It's just the Archipses that she can use. That's it. So, like, even if she attaches a bunch of energy on the Archipses, she can't finish off this Kerm. It's crazy. Uh, but let's see what she does. Many cards in her hand. Uh, Luminion down again. It's probably the one that went in the deck. But maybe she's running more than one. Even Luminion won't be able to do the job. Because, you know, some of these Pokemon do so little damage. Uh, she's going to get Marnie, I guess, try to limit my stuff. But my hand wasn't so great anyway, to be honest. What I really need is just energies. Switching outlets, I'm pretty sure I discarded both of our switches. I used one and I discarded one. So, we're going to get really fucked over with Frost Moth's limitation there. It's just, it's just a big pain not being able to attach in the active one. And we don't have something like Russian Keldeo to fix up our position too. So, it, it's ironic because it's probably won't even be able to get the KO on the Kurum, but then I won't be able to take advantage of a weak turn because we can't retreat. I can't power up the active one and uh, yeah I got no switches I was gonna say but it looks like Charizard did the job. Alright but it actually works out so all I gotta do now is use Suicune which is only going to give away one prize. And uh, Marnie is going to limit her hand. And then I think the rest I'll be able to manage with Kurum. Okay. So put the energies on Suicune. Suicune going to kill the Charizard. And uh, yeah. She did, she did pull off an attack. I guess with the Charizard you only need... I uh, got so many prizes. Just one energy gets the job. Uh, but, I mean, if she couldn't kill the Kurum, I was going to be stuck there. I'm, in a way, I'm glad. I suppose there's no way she knows how many switches I got. But, yeah, if she was passive, I was going to be stuck there too. Alright. So, going to retreat into the Suicune. Get the kill on the Charizard. And I've got Nessa. I can grab the uh, Kurum VMAX next turn. And Suicune is an easy Pokemon to retreat with just one energy. And uh, it's pretty much game. Whatever she does, I don't think she can win. Uh, she needs to get two prizes, so she has to pick on the Kurum to win. 
and she has to do 220 damage. But she surrenders. I guess she might have even run out of energies, not really having any attackers. So very good. Get the victory against Lugia V-Star with Kurim. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. Wazai!